Hey guys, it's Ryan with Z-Strength here. So today we're going to be talking about optimal barbell speed. Uh, this is applicable to the squat and the bench. So uh, in, in terms of uh, optimal bar speed, we're talking about the eccentric and the concentric phase of movement. So uh, studies have shown in the eccentric phase, uh, Lifters will utilize 40 to 50% of muscle. Uh, this is muscle fiber utilization, um, energy expenditure, et cetera. And, and then that leaves for the concentric about 50 to 60% for that movement. And what tends to happen, well, what does happen uh, is that so if we look at our percent we'll say PR five to a hundred right and we look at time and we look at this over time we'll just say long fast we see a very linear movement when we get closer and closer to that hundred percent we see a very linear movement uh, of the, the bar speed slowing down. Now, to overcome this, because the longer the bar speed, the longer it takes um, to, to, to complete the repetition, the, the more energy utilization we have to perform. Um, in the, under the eccentrics, we have a longer time of muscle that is being stretched um, eccentrically, which can lead to um, muscle tears, uh, tendon tears, and then um, we also lose that energy potential and that muscle utilization for the concentric movement. Now, this progression will always occur as we get towards 100% the bar speed. As we get closer to 100, the bar speed will never pick up and go faster, but we want to decrease the severity of the linear uh, lengthening of the barbell, or the repetition speed. So we want it to look a little bit more small increases. Now, this can be done by utilizing dynamic banded elastic resistance. So if we utilize banded resistance, even near, um, even near maximal effort, this has been shown to um, decrease eccentrics by as 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 much as so. This thing right then, fifty percent. So basically, because we can. Increase the speed of the eccentric portion of the movement by utilizing banded resistance, which allows the bar to, to uh, be utilized eccentrically faster than the speed of gravity, and only dynamic banded resistance can do this because standard barbell weight, which is either plates, chains, um, or, or weight releases, uh, since they are only static weight, they can only move at the speed of gravity. Even if you drop them on their own, as much weight as you want to put on, it will only drop as much as the speed of gravity will allow it to drop. If you utilize banded resistance, you're having a force applied to the barbell pulling it down where versus utilizing the, the gravitational pull to have the weight fall down. So by utilizing banded resistance, Now we can take our rep time and cut that significantly lower. So now instead of utilizing all of this on the eccentric phase with bands, now you know we can we can look at 30% to 40% and then increase this to 60 to 70%. The, the ideal situation, um, even at 
maximal effort, um, especially a maximal effort, is that the eccentric phase of the movement, um, whether it's a squat or a bench, it's a little bit more easier to understand in a bench setting, um, is that when the, when the bar is out, we want that bar just over where the range of motion is going to occur, the bar path. And when the bar moves eccentrically, we just want to use just enough muscle utilization to control the path of the bar to make sure that it's going where it needs to go and not sitting and holding it and slowly lowering it and utilizing all that energy. We don't want to drop the bar uh, in the eccentric phase because that's a huge amount of, of injury that can occur um, and, and a lot of other issues with that. So we don't, we don't want to go, you know, let the bar go and just catch it at the bottom, but we want to, we want to decrease the time that we're sitting under eccentric so we can utilize all that energy to get the weight back concentrically to the top of the movement. There's, um, there, there is, yeah, I'll save that for a different video. Um, but yeah, so to essentially to, to train and, and decrease the eccentric phase and be able to utilize that power um, strictly concentrically, um, you just need to decrease your repetition time and that can be done by doing banded resistance, banded dynamic resistance, doing um, doubles and triples for multiple, multiple, multiple sets and really triggering and, and that's going to be done at a very low percentage of your maximal weight um, and just uh, through, throughout those sets, throughout those 8, 10, 12, 16, 18 sets of doubles or triples, um, you really want to focus on the explosiveness of the movement, bang, 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 you know, really, really quickly um, to, to train yourself to decrease the repetition time because as you get accustomed to a fast repetition, when you go time to do you go back to do a standard um, movement without a band, uh, you have uh, trained your body to utilize a faster repetition speed and hence a more optimal barbell speed to be able to utilize it on the concentric portion of the lift. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We have plenty other like it on our YouTube page. So if you liked it, please subscribe, uh, check out other content. We're also on TikTok a little bit and Instagram. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, check out other content. Please like, share, subscribe, blow it up, and I will see everybody in the next video. Thanks.